Good morning, Base Junkies. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to make a video about uh, these two. One and two. <laughs> or maybe one and two. Okay, so uh, why do I use the Sans Amp? Uh, these two are very useful if uh, the amplifier, usually in the practice, <laughs> uh, practice studio, uh, is uh, kind of weak. Uh, most of the time the uh, bass amp is weak so this one will power up your uh, bass amp okay so uh, these are two old reliables okay so uh, why do you have the version 1 and the version 2 okay so later I will show you the subtle differences okay but basically these are uh, pretty much the same okay the sounds that you can do here you can do here okay and vice versa you can do it you can do it here you can do it here however uh, this uh, one has a uh, additional mid control okay and you can act and uh, the base frequencies you can actually shift it from uh, a high to a lower or maybe low to a higher okay so uh, the mid controls are just easier to control in this uh, version 2 okay so uh, the features that I look for in the Sans Amp is actually this one. Of course, uh, aside from it being a uh, direct box, uh, this one, it's the, okay, the mid boost. Okay, the mid boost. Uh, no, not, not the mid boost, sorry. It's uh, the clean boost. Okay, so it will just make your sound a little louder. Of course, uh, the version 1 also has this one. Okay, and by the way, I prefer... The, I prefer the programmable so that I won't really memorize the knob settings okay so as you will see later uh, I have presets here uh, the preset of this one in the bank number one is the gritty tone uh, simulates a little uh, the Geddeli sound but uh, of course I adjusted it to my own taste in here number three I uh, this one is the for slap slap bass okay this one is for slap bass number two I actually forgot <laughs> what I put here so this one is really really helpful to me and the one that the, the only thing that I don't like in this one is the size and the I mean the, the inputs are at the top I would really prefer them to be in the side like this okay so uh, the the differences is subtle actually okay so uh, if you have this one already okay if you have this one already uh, I don't really recommend that you buy this one okay but if you don't have this one in you already uh, have a hand uh, you you already have one of these this one is already fine okay uh, it just happens that I w was born in a time that this one didn't exist yet they still have this one okay both are old reliables okay and in a few seconds <laughs> I will just show you the subtle differences okay so hope you enjoy Okay, so this is just a little demo of uh, showing the two generations of sans amps. Uh, the one on the right is the version 1 and the one, the one on the left is the version 2. So this is not really a comparison. So uh, it, I will just uh, show the subtle differences. Hopefully you can uh, notice them. So this is the clean sound. By the way, I'm using a 5-string bass. sound so I'm going to engage the sans amp version 1 first I mainly use the sans amp for this sound that's why I like the program programmable because I don't really remember the exact settings <laughs> I don't know the exact settings but I uh, use the sans amp for that sound okay you can actually get that sound also 
okay using the version 2 okay however the main advantage of the version 2 okay it has the mid controls Okay, and, and you can switch the frequency. So you can switch to a low mid to a high mid. And the bass you can also uh, switch. Okay, from a lower frequency to, the high, to a higher frequency. Uh, since I'm just recording directly to a mic using my cell phone, uh, you won't really notice the difference. Okay, or the sound might just be a little muffled. But what I like in the sans up version 2 is the mid controls okay so uh, uh let me just turn this on okay usually the slap sound you will try to scoop out the mids a little so let me just show that to you oops sorry So that's the traditional slap sound. However, if you are a huge Marcus Miller fan like me, you know we like to crank up the middle a little bit. Oops, sorry. Mm, let me just uh, put that one, put this one up again. Okay, so I'm just going to crank up. When you crank up the mids, okay, so I switched to a uh, higher mid, so it's a little trebly, okay. So I'm going to uh, be careful with the treble, okay? See that gritty sound? The Marcus Miller-ish, but of course not really exactly like Marcus Miller. This one, okay. I scooped it out. Okay. I crank it up. Okay. So you just have control, a uh, little more control on the mids, but you can still actually do that, okay, using the version one, okay. Oops, sorry. Let me just, okay, having troubles making it stay up. Sorry for that. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I can do it in both versions. Okay, I just forgot the setting in number three. Okay, when I do it in the version two, oops, <laughs> ah, it's a mess. Sorry. Okay. So here it is. Ah. I just make it stand. Okay. in both versions but here it's just a little easy to control the mids okay so hopefully that helped so you've seen the demo of the two okay sorry I'm making a mess <laughs> I was making a mess during the video the filming of the video okay so uh, 
do I recommend you again do I recommend you buying this okay uh, again I was born in the time that uh, this one is the standard Sansa okay uh, if you have this one already this will uh, cut it I mean uh, this one is an old reliable it will give you a lot of sounds okay no if you have this one you really don't need to buy this one okay this one just uh, makes your mid con and uh, just just makes controlling the mid frequencies a little easy okay this one you can also do that okay but uh, of course you have to you know adjust to your own taste okay so uh, again reminder the sans up is not for all I mean uh, I know a proportion of uh, great bassists who actually don't use this okay so just for me I like the sound that's coming out from these two okay and by the way I'm not using both of them simultaneously <laughs> okay that's overkill if I just need space I use this okay if the space allows I mean uh, uh, if the space allows a bigger you know bigger space then this is the one that I'm using but predominantly uh, for dirty tones I use this one because uh, I just need the drive uh, sorry drive I just need the drive and to boost the bass and treble a little okay this one is uh, more useful in the slap setting okay because uh, you have more control in the mids okay you can play around with it so uh, both of them are fine and I believe uh, this is not the first time that somebody <laughs> has actually made a video uh, showing these two okay I think there maybe there are better videos but I hope uh, hopefully uh, I give I give you uh, another perspective on uh, if you should buy it or not okay hopefully you can borrow first and try it out okay so uh, again dial using your ears not your eyes <laughs> So know your base and for you to make the most out of this. So uh, again, this is the base junkie. <laughs> Hopefully this video helped you. God bless.